Welcome back to Aquaculture Engineering. We will now have the survey of the Philippine aquaculture industry. In the country, most of the uh, 81 provinces have access to seas uh, being in coastal areas. Only a few of the provinces are landlocked, meaning uh, they have no access to uh, marine waters. While this is so, there are still major lakes in the Philippines. We have Laguna, the Bay, Danao, Taal, Mainit, Nauhan, Buluan, uh, Bato, Buhi, Dapao, and Cebu. These are the top 10 biggest lakes ranging from 964 to 90,000 hectares in area. Uh, there are uh, smaller ones and man-made lakes as well. I have mentioned Kaliraya already. It is a man-made lake resort. While they also culture aquatic species there, the lake was also designed as an uh, energy storage. Water is pumped in at night and released during the day. As to why, I will leave that uh, to you to find out. Uh, uh, let us first look into the position of the Philippines in the worldwide, worldwide uh, fishery scene. Number one producer is the biggest country and with the biggest population, China. In this list, the Philippines ranks ninth, ninth after Peru and before Norway. Still, as you can see, uh, the Pareto, uh, Pareto principle applies. 80% of uh, resources is shared by the 20% of almost 200 countries, uh, 40 harvests more than 80% of aquatic resources. Here, you have already the 10 comprising 5% owning the 72% of resources. Though I myself, uh, I'm not taking, uh, well, I'm taking this with a grain of salt. Why? Because my experience with the corporate is the undervaluation and underreporting of statistics. Figures are merely, or yeah, they're closest to ballpark estimates, plus or minus. Though my experience was always a minus. What we can see in the first table is that the Philippines ranks fifth in aquaculture, which means we both have uh, an underdeveloped uh, aquaculture and fisheries, uh, capture fisheries sector. With capture fisheries, we have small local players, most, at least most of them. While China have very big ones and aggressively taking the West Philippine Sea because there is rapid the certification of its deserts, uh, especially the Gobi. We are interested in aquaculture and not on capture fisheries in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, the numbers though of aquaculture at 882,000 metric tons mean we have a lot of room for expansion to expand the use of fish cages, fish pens, and even fish ponds. Uh, with seaweed production, we rank third, but still a far cry from the production of China and Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia has 30,000 plus islands, and like the Philippines, is tropical. So it's more ar archipelagic, but also tropical. Let us dig into the data of our aquaculture resources. All this data, including the, uh, the rest of the world, are from the uh, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BIFAR, which is the sole attached agency of the Department of Agriculture of the Philippine government, handling everything relating to capture fisheries and aquaculture. Thus, they have the technologies and funding to support the growth and development of the industry. Uh, data in Table 2 shows the freshwater fish pond production by species and by uh, region for the year 2018. Here we see Region 3 taking the top spot, meaning they have man-made ponds all over Central Luzon, mostly growing tilapia. Milk fish rearing is very limited if you see. Other species are also minor players. Just a, uh, This is just a continuation, continuation of Table 2. Our conclusions remain the same. Central Luzon is feeding the country its tilapia. Is not central Luzon also the rice granary of the country? So rice and tilapia are 
are coming from uh, Central Luzon. So they are feeding Metro Manila year-round of this uh, species. This is not a wonder as Mindanao is really a haven for fruit-bearing trees. Now we go to freshwater fish cages. As we can see, table three is by species and by region for the year 2018. What we see here is the domination of region 4A or Calabarzon. Why? Because it has the biggest lake in the country, Laguna de Bay, at 90,000 hectares. Milkfish uh, here is second to the tapia. But see, milkfish is really a brackish water species. Those in freshwater have been merely acclimatized to the Laguna de Bay environment. Uh, this is the same picture for the rest of the regions in Mindanao, which is just a continuation of table three. Fish pens, okay. Freshwater fish pens, not really, uh, okay, so fish pens is not really a technology in practice in uh, freshwater, but there are some practitioners, but with the significant production and economic value, as we can see in table four. There are some who are doing it in the lakes of Northern Mindanao, but the figures are lame compared to those of brackish and marine waters as you will see later. Small farm reservoir and rice fish production are minor players, but to see the rice farmers and other crop farmers get setting up integrated farms is a good indicator the more innovative concepts of uh, aquaculture have end users. But we can see here that Bicol region is lagging behind uh, in these categories because there are no statistics to show. We now go to brackish waters. For fish fund production, we have the islands of some parts of all the major islands, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao taking equal share. To me, this is primarily a case of preference because except CAR, which is landlocked and thus will not have estuaries, most provinces of the country have defined access to river mouths leading to the seas. What is also key here is the intermittence of the streams, which should depend on the topography and the underlying bedrock. For the case of the Bicol region, which doesn't have elaborate stream networks basing, uh, well, besides uh, the Bicol river basin, most uh, streams leading into rivers can be intermittent at best. Mindanao, which has uh, distributed rainfall all throughout the year does have better catchment areas than the Pico region. And so we must uh, look into the uh, this situation to cause uh, Mindanao having better figures in brackish water fish pond production. Fish cages is very common in region one, Ilocos. Uh, home to Pangasinan, and which is an area with defined dry and wet seasons. Caraga in Mindanao also produces uh, from brackish water, but with focus on milkfish. Take note that the figures here are in metric tons. Thus, the figures are shadowed by the output of fish ponds in both brackish and fresh waters. The last item for brackish waters are fish pens, which have the same uh, pictures with brackish waters in, in, um, in cages for region one. And so we have region one taking the helm. Caraga takes second place. Again, uh, numbers here or figures here are, our values are in metric tons. Let's go to the last aquatic environment, marine waters. You have region one at the top producing milkfish. This is the reason why uh, when you buy bangus, one asks if it is from Pangasinan. Uh, region three comes only behind after region one. Region 11 or the above region ranks third overall. Again, most of the provinces of the country have coastal resources and these figures here show the underutilization of those resources. It is possible um, that this is only a problem of investment and technology capabilities. 
uh, fish pens for marine have the same picture with those of uh, fish cages for brackish waters, region one, where Pangasinan is, is at the top. Still, uh, figures of fish cages and fish pens are merely in metric tons. Again, underlining the main idea of statistics in the past tables that uh, coastal resources are underutilized. Let us go through the last portion here for our statistics class. Okay, we have the figures of oyster, mussels, and seaweeds production, collectively termed mariculture. Uh, figures are in metric tons. Oyster production is a match between regions three and six. Mussels is also a major resource of uh, region six. Let us also consider here seaweeds where we see 4P, the island region of Mimaropa, maximizing their coastal areas, which ranks second in the country after the top arm, also comprised of islands. Region nine, containing the uh, Misabis provinces is a key seaweeds producer in Mindanao, uh, just after the number one for the country, uh, which is ARM or the uh, Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao. So my question here is if Saba is really a part of the country. No, just kidding. Uh, in the next week, we have the life cycle of uh, the two main uh, species of uh, animal, animal aquatic species we are uh, going to tackle, that of tilapia and milkfish. I will see you by then.